Right, uh, we need to solve for x, uh, given x plus 2 into 2x minus 3 is less or equal to minus 3. We have this quadratic inequality to solve for x. Let's proceed and present uh, the solution to this or just a solution to this problem in a step-by-step -step manner and we proceed as follows. We are given actually x plus 2 into 2x minus 3 is less or equal to minus 3. Multiply x by 2x, 2x squared, x by minus 3, minus 3x plus 4x, minus 6 is less or equal to minus 3. Twice x squared plus x minus 3 is less or equal to 0. Now, to factorize this, we proceed step by step. But we note that to get the factors of this, we multiply 2x squared and minus 3. Right. Getting minus 6x squared. And then now, this means that we have a 3x. And a minus 2x. Right, a 3x and minus 2x. And minus 2x, like this. Because if you multiply the 2, 3x and minus 2x, you get minus 6x squared. But the sum, that is 3x minus 2x, gives us uh, plus x. And so we are actually good. So which means then we have uh, 2x squared here plus uh, 3x minus uh, twice x minus 3 is less or equal to 0. And we're able to note at this point that uh, 3x minus 2x gives us plus x. Right, factoring out an x here, we have 2x plus 3 minus into 2x plus 3 is less or equal to 0. Right, at this point, we can see that 2x plus 3 is actually um, the common factor here, and we proceed as follows. So if you pull out 2x minus 3 or 2x plus 3, we have that 2x plus 3 into x minus 1 is less or equal to 0, like so. Right, at this point, uh, we have what to call the critical values. Right, having the critical values, and uh, they are as follows. They are minus 3 out of 2, x equals 1. And what do we do with these critical values? We put them step by step on the real line, and we position here, for instance, First things first, we can position 2x plus 3, like so. Then we position x minus 1, like so. And then we draw a horizontal line, uh, which is the number line of the values of x. And uh, we put here minus 3 out of 2, and we put here a 1. Right, and we continue to solve for x. Now, to the left of, okay, the bottom here, we put 2x plus 3 into x minus 1. Now, to the left of minus 3 over 2 is a, uh, we can pick a random number, like, uh, for instance, uh, minus 10. If you put it here, 2 times minus 10 is minus 20 plus 3 is minus 17, giving a negative. And minus 10 minus 1 gives a negative. Right. Between a negative number and a positive, you can pick a 0. If you put it here, you have a positive. If you put it there, you have a negative. Bigger than 1, you have a plus, and you have a plus. Right. And so this is exactly what we get here. We get exactly these. So... 
Right. And then now you realize, therefore, that we need to multiply these two. And if you multiply negative by negative, then you have a plus. You multiply these two, you have a minus. You multiply these two, you have a plus. Okay, so we're looking for where this quadratic expression is less or equal to zero, and it is less or equal to zero when x lies between minus 3 over 2 and 1. And therefore, we have therefore the solution as follows. Right, so hence, we have uh, minus 3 out of 2 is less or equal to x, less or equal to 1, but we understand at this point that x is an element of the set of real numbers. And this solution can be sketched on the real line. Um, there we have minus 3 over 2, you have a 1, and uh, we shade like this, and moreover, we shade like that. So we realize, therefore, that this is uh, the solution to this problem, and uh, we have solved this uh, question in detail. Uh, so thanks everybody for your time and um, attention. We are done with the solution and goodbye to you.